Today we are looking at Morgan Calendar, which is a calendar application that wants to be everything to you. <laughs> and not just everything, but tasks, scheduling, and your calendar management in one spot. And today we're going to look at it and give you an idea of whether it's suitable for you. So let's start with what is Morgan Calendar? Now, very simply, it is a way that you can manage your calendar and tasks in one spot. It wants to combine these two experiences so that you can time block, schedule, and even manage your calendar events and tasks as a team. It's a very interesting growing application. So what does Morgan Calendar do? Now, as you can see, this is Morgan in front of us, and it very much uh, really brings together your tasks, your, ca your calendar management, which you would typically see in a calendar app, um, your bookings, so you can organize an invite with people, both for a booking page or via open invites, which means like making the available time as you go, and something called Morgan Assist, which is little custom workflows for improving how you use uh, this app every single day. So largely, you can manage your tasks here through this little window here. Now, you can also connect other popular apps like Google Tasks, Todoist, uh, even the likes of Outlook, and uh, even Microsoft to do if you want to as well, which means it's also a consolidation experience in one. So let's look at some of the best features or the pros from our review. And as you can see, the experience is very simple. In terms of its design and function, I really like being able to add stuff. It's actually quite snappy and fast. And one of the bonuses and why we actually named it as one of our best all round calendar apps is actually because it's available on Windows, Linux, Mac, Android and iOS, which is pretty decent for a fairly new application, which has been around for a little bit of time, but still very good for the market. Now, as you can see, you can add in an event or a task and tasks will appear on this side. Now, there are brilliant ways to manage your inbox as well, which we really liked, like being able to add a list or being able to add items from here, which is really nice. And you can even add priority levels to them and even manage uh, when and the duration of them when you drag them into your system. Now, this is perfect for things like, for example, time blocking, which means I can drag them into my calendar and I can make them longer if I want to. And I can tick them off within my calendar and get a very nice interaction when I do. And I can also manage what overdue items I have. Maybe I need to do that one today. But largely the task management is really, really nice. Now they do have some other task integrations, as I mentioned earlier, with the likes of um, you know, Todoist in Pro, Microsoft To Do, Google Tasks, and even Zapier and Slack. You do have the ability to connect Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and WebEx as part of the free plan as well. But as you can see, this integration, you are limited to one in the free plan, which is pretty typical with a lot of these applications now because they need to obviously monetize to get you to use some of the more advanced features. Um, but let me show you some of the open invites. This was really nice as well. If I want to go and create some suggested times to meet somebody, I know it's a Sunday, but I can uh, start writing it, like meeting with Bob, add some notes. I can even copy the text as availability, invite certain people and conferencing. Now, once I create this link, what's nice is it exists in this open invite area, which means that once it passes to Tuesday the 6th, of February I actually won't have that time available and this is really nice because I can see that it's expired here maybe I need to rebook that meeting with Bob and show the booked ones if Bob actually goes ahead and books it with me you can also create a booking page now what does this look like very simply if I just drag this up here there's no spots with me at the moment because I haven't set it up but it looks like this a few pages will come up I can go in and I can actually customize this a little bit further, uh, which allows me to add a few different things. But there are some limitations, but benefits in pro to remove branding, but also customize it. So if you're a freelancer or someone, you can naturally start um, giving some suggestions to somebody. You can also create a new weekly available one, which means that you can recommend a few slots. So you could call this one routine create and copy the link, but this one, again, lives as a public link as part of it. So it looks a little bit like this, as people can book some times with you that are pretty routine, 
and you can set that up in your system. So that's what an active one looks like. <laughs> You can also have Morgan Assist, and this is currently in beta, but essentially it has a few cool features like travel time, allocating when you focus on your, um, for example, you've got a, uh, a meeting that's in a set location, it'll account for the travel time in there. And here's some of the workflows that do come up. Team meeting optimizer, meaning that you need to, you, you, it helps you and your team once you add them to Morgan to find focus time and even calendar propagation, which means you can uh, connect up your work and personal calendar, and even that automated travel time. There are some more coming soon, including dynamic time blocking, focus time shield, and much more. But this is something that they're almost making mini apps that you can plug in and choose as part of the Morgan experience, which is something that has impressed me about what they've been doing with Morgan. There's even a meeting assistant as well, which allows you to, uh, you know, uh, like organize everyone in advance, which is quite cool. They do have more integrations coming soon when it comes to task management. Um, but on the free plan, you are limited to just one account. So, of course, I've chose Google Calendar. So what are the things I didn't like about Morgan? Now, I'm going to say this now, but... A lot of the applications in the calendar space are pricing quite aggressively because what they're trying to do is combine tasks and the likes of calendar in one. And I would say this is probably generalized, but the pricing for the calendar market has dramatically increased. Now, whilst Morgan is priced uh, fairly low when you go to a, a yearly rate, uh, whilst looking at the monthly rate, which is just ongoing, it's priced at 13 quid in the UK, which I'm roughly put at about $15 in the US. I'll get exact pricing uh, for you. But essentially, that's quite high because they're trying to combine tasks with the likes of Calendar. And I'm not quite sure they're there yet. They're a little bit cheaper than, say, AccuFlow Emotion, but at the same time, charging only a little bit less than these applications. I soon imagine that this application will become a planner application because it does tasks fairly well, integrations fairly well, and that's a natural fitting with Morgan Assist. So that's my only bugbear, and it tends to be general with the calendar market. So my final verdict on Morgan. I really like this application. I think it's a good all-rounder, and I think because of the availability on multiple devices, I actually think that Morgan is the best all-round calendar application on the market. It provides you with what you need in terms of uh, linking and scheduling with other people, task management that is light for time blocking, and calendar and events and meetings bookings that you need. So it's really a nice all-in-one system. It's functional, fast, and it does have a lot of settings which can make and improve the customization of using the account. I even think that the Morgan Assist will take it to the next level, mainly because there are some features that I feel like are novel in other applications that Morgan Assist is actually going to fill in the near future. So that was my review of Morgan. If you watch this and you didn't find it suitable for you, you can jump over to Toolfinder to get all the calendar applications there. But largely, Morgan is an interesting application. About a year and a half ago, when I first checked out Morgan, I actually said I'm not that impressed with the application. But the team have moved pretty rapidly in the last year, and uh, they are definitely something that... Um, are very notable in the space at the moment and they seem to be moving quite rapidly which I'm very glad to hear um, and you can see it in the product definitely. So thank you very much I hope you found this review helpful and please let us know if you have any questions or jump over to Finder to fill in any blanks that we may have missed. So cheerio folks and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!